Vestiful ca și drum. 2, 1033 de metri. Apoi a mea încercare asupra acestui vârf. Ca și drum unul aici, care l-am urcat în premiul românesc în 2007. Și panama, panorama munților care acolo. Ce boli să chiar. Așa drum. Așa drum 4, Mustang Tower. Și revenim iarăși la Broad Peak pe care l-am urcat în 2014 și K2. Ah, ales găvan ca de obicei, fără oxigen, fără șerpaș. Nici nu știu ce zi este astăzi. The place where I have touched the heaven with my hand, and then the heaven touched my soul with his infinity. And now I'm bringing down the energy, the high vibration and spirit of this place to you. And thus, I further share the gifts that I've been blessed with. And all of these are getting more and more enriched as I'm forward paying them. It was 11 years ago at the opening edition of TEDx Bucharest when I stood here first. That was a talk about how for me, Climbing mountains outside is climbing mountains inside. And now, it's a story about how I use the best stage possible, the summits of the world's highest mountain, to advance environmental and social causes. Why is that? Because for me, Those summits are the greatest place where I can be seen. And while I'm up there, I just become the greatest billboard possible. From the summits of the Himalayas to the very bottom of a fairy tale like valley, but endangered one, deep into the Carpathians, I'm using now this billboard to take you and to make you part of an unfolding journey. None of us have seen living dinosaurs. You'd be surprised if you'd find out that among us, there is someone who really did see them. Can you believe it? Please meet our brother. The Asprete. Coming from the very depths of time, the Asprete is staring at us with his huge hypnotizing eyes. A truly ancient being, the Asprete is. A living fossil being contemporary with the last dinosaurs walking on this earth. He has an age of 65 million years. If he thought of the Asprete, As a 100 years old human, our species will be almost, almost four months old. Merely a toddler that cannot even stand by its own feet. And contrary to what you'd be tempted to think, this is not a story about a fish 
but rather it is a story about us all. His very name includes us all. Us, Frete. The fragile and priceless barometer of the sanity of our society and the health of our civilization. He was a witness of our birth as a species on this planet, and now, in complete silence, he's a baffled witness of its own extinction. Biologists held him as probably the rarest fish in the world. Right now, there are only between seven to ten of its kind remaining. He lives in Romania, being the only living being on this earth, given the name of this country. Romagnichtis Volsanicola. To date, his habitat has shrunk to a time capsule of only one kilometer along the river of Volsan in the Transylvanian Alps. When in 1956, the Asprete was discovered by Nicolae Stoica, a student of biology, he was still roaming the waters of two other rivers, Argeș and Duamnei. He's now completely extinct out of those two. The fish has been declared a monument of nature, and he's only also included by the Berna Convention on the list of highly endangered species. Also, his habitat. It's under two forms of legal protection: a nature 2000 site and Valavul Sanuli Nature Reserve. But despite all this, and mainly because of the unsustainable way of running the hydroelectric power plants along the rivers, but not exclusively to it, the Asprete is living now the last second of his existence on this earth. How can this even be possible? We are in full speed era of Anthropocene. The time of human beings that became capable by their actions to globally influence the ecosystems and the climate. Overwhelming, overwhelming scientific data testified to the fact that right now we are just in the middle of a new mass extinction. And this time, this extinction is started and accelerated by Homo sapiens. And this includes us all, by our at own attitude towards the planet, by our own habits and consumption behavior. Over the last 40 years, 60% of the vertebrate animals have been wiped out. And as I'm having this talk now, And while you are watching me right now, one species become extinct. Every hour, three species disappear. Every day, up to 150 species of plant, insect, bird, and mammal are gone forever, according to scientists. And getting back to Romania and to fish, there's only 2% left in our rivers comparing to eight years ago. It was Monday, July 29, 2019. That was about one week after I stood on the summit of Gasherbrum II, when we as a mankind finished all the resources the planet could generate for this year. 
20 years ago, this date was about two months later. We are all eating up now 1.75 planets. We're living on a credit, basically. And as any credit, we can not refinance it indefinitely, and it will eventually and surely become overdue. And maybe we will not be the ones forced to pay it off during our lifetime, but certainly the very next generations will do, and they will pity us for our greed and for our, our ignorance. No man is an, is an island, and neither the Aspretes. He can no longer survive by himself. The biologists from the University of Bucharest say that if the proper measures will not be right away taken, he'll be gone within the next two, three years. Losing the Asprete is losing ourselves. Thus, deepening the disconnection to our Mother Earth. So, the question is, how do we save the Asprete? How do we save the planet? The answer is, the Asprete does not need salvation. We do. The planet does not need salvation. We do. So, where do we start from? We start by asking for forgiveness to the Asprete. We start by asking for forgiveness to the planet. The Asprete is a temple. And so the planet is with everything the planet holds, including you and me. This temple is us all. We start by asking for forgiveness to every tree, to every animal, human, mountain, to every hill and to every river. We start by asking for forgiveness to the air we breathe and to the Father sky. We start by manifesting gratitude to everything there is. And to reverse the tide, we then continue with conscious and responsible concrete actions. As for the Asprete, two things are needed to be done. The Romanian state to review and update the current legal framework and also making sure this gets enforced. And thus includes Hydroelectrica, the company responsible for running the power plants along the rivers to implement a set of good practices. The second thing, it is the creation of the Fluvarium, the special research and breeding base in captivity. Once this gets done, within the blink of an eye of five years, there will be bred enough individuals as to take the Asprete outside the risk of extinction and thus create the premises for a future where he can continue his odyssey 
started so, so long ago. And as I speak now, there is a great team of people that I assembled to help our brother. Starting from academics, to official bodies, to businesses, to media, and uh, relevant public figures as ambassadors. But of course, we are always looking forward to making new friends and supporters. We are all custodians of our planets. Not its owners, not its conquerors. But the role of being a custodian comes with great responsibility. This planet means abundance. But for abundance to manifest, each and every one of us shall take mindfully, shall take only what is necessary, shall take only what one really needs. We're all connected. The suffering of every living being, it is the suffering of each and every one of us. The joy of every living being, it is the joy of, every, of each and every one of us. My beloved, we are at the control wheel of the most boundless and priceless of the ships possible, our life. Let's make it count. Love is a life to be lived.